up up there. Start moving up. Alio, she is in third. That's your top three. Things are shaking and baking. That's Taylor now up and over the hills. Here comes Elite Vehicle, folks. Edna Kurga, the All-American from New Mexico, on her way to an NCAA championship. Woo! These vehicles now pulling in. You'll see her come into view. Up with the leaders from the very beginning. There she is in our field, folks. Up there. The NCAA. From New Mexico, undefeated season, the All American, Edna Kurgan. And she's going to add to her very distinctive resume, NCAA champion.
And there's an unofficial team score. Two years ago, they were the NCAA champions. And upon review by the officials, will lead every place across the line. It looks like New Mexico did it again. Two in the top seven. Pretty hard to beat when you score one. Coach Joe Franklin, New Mexico Lobos, 90. San Francisco, led by Charlotte Taylor. They'll be second, Colorado and Stanford. That might be your podium team, folks. What'll happen, referee, members of the NCAA committee, they look at a photo finish of every person across the line, and then they'll get all that order correct. Kerga, Amy Eloise Neal, what a great close for the Husky All-American from University of Washington. She probably had the best finish of the field. Eloise Neal really close to garner the runner-up position individually. Charlotte Taylor, Ali Ostrander, Bizek to San Francisco, Insane Kaladi Murphy Bukowski. Recognized at 11 o'clock the 15 NCAA top 15s. And after that closes, we'll recognize them, the 40 All-Americans. You see then Jones, Bruce Schweitzer, Carlson, New Mexico. That's three in the top 12. And just for that matter, let's go four in the top 14. And we'll keep a Stanford, and then there's Wright. Brower, Rainsbaker. The ACC champion, Stoner, receiver 20th. Remember, top 40, the Coaches Association will recognize as All-American. Top 15, the NCAA recognizes as podium finisher. There they scroll, folks. Edna Kurgan, your NCAA champion from New Mexico.